Guys, welcome back to the third part in this mini trend series. Today we're going to be talking about accessories and footwear for autumn winter 2017. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. recap for you really really quickly we've done overall trends in the market so this kind of hybrid feel that we've got going on uh, we've also discussed colors the return of black but also this kind of warm terracotta color that's coming in uh, the mix of fabrics we've got velvet silk we've also discussed the fact that the dress has been really really strong especially the midi length shirts and knitwear again really really strong um, today as I said we're going to be moving on into the fun stuff so that's the handbags the accessories and the shoes these are just really quick roundups I'm trying to get as much information as I can over to you in a short space of time and it's also particular trends that I really feel will be good for our store as well so shall we kick off one of the really really interesting things that was mentioned in the talk was that for the first time ever jewelry overtook handbags so this is a really interesting take because for me as a store handbags are always always really really popular so actually it's something that i need to pay attention to and make sure that we've got plenty of jewelry in stock for you guys so within jewellery, you're looking at necklaces being four times higher in 2017 than in 2016, and particularly the chokers. The chokers, I'm sure you've already seen, they're absolutely everywhere. And that's something that you could really invest in that will see you all the way through your spring, summer, into your autumn, winter. Now, we've also seen a rise in the shoulder length earrings. So when you want to be a bit more glamorous, the kind of shoulder skimming, really jeweled embellished earrings are really really popular although handbags may not be trending quite as highly as jewelry of course they're always going to be popular and what WGSN saw was a rise in the practical handbags so the one that actually I even see it here in my store people no longer want something that's really heavy that's um, really cumbersome they just want something that's perhaps a couple of straps you've got your shoulder strap your regular strap um, something that's really practical for day for night um, and they are really going to choose to invest in those practical styles and um, there was also a mini trend into piercings on handbags so I'm going to flash a little picture up here so you can see what I mean because you might not have an idea what piercing a handbag means I certainly wouldn't have done unless I saw a picture And in terms of other accessories, party shawls were really quite big, so multicolored, really embellished, look really, really beautiful in the kind of lead up to Christmas over your classic black dresses. Another micro trend was personalization. Um, I personally have even been looking to find products like that for myself because I think people are moving slightly away from the branded good and really wanting to find something that is unique to them and personalization really allows you to be able to do that so that was again quite a strong trend for autumn winter 2017 now finally moving on to the shoes there was a trend towards the utilitarian look and for this look styling is particularly important because you have to be able to kind of achieve that high low styling so it would be very crucial what you pair your utilitarian boots with. There was also quite a few pairs of sock boots as seen at Balenciaga and Dior. And again slippers. We've seen slippers quite a lot now and that's a really nice trans-seasonal look for you to achieve. Again also uh, the jewels. The jewels, are, I mean jeweling is really quite strong always I think around Christmas time but particularly this year you're going to see jewels on shoes and it's not just kind of on the shoe but they're also removable which I think is a really nice idea so you can perhaps have them on your shoes and then maybe wear them on your lapel and finally there was talk of kitten heels <laughs> I personally am not a massive fan of the kitten heel but and I'm sure that they've tried to say that the kitten heel is coming back a few times I just find it quite an unpractical heel height but there you go the kitten heel 
So thank you so much for watching my mini trend series. So I just find it really helpful when planning what I'm doing with the shop and I hope that maybe you might be able to find it helpful when planning your wardrobe for the next few seasons. Take care guys, I hope you have just the most wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Is here I know my universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came.